Greetings YouTube. Now this video should look something like this, but it's not going to because this is just a review of what I've done because I forgot to do the video editing for the last video, so I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, but I didn't really have time because I'm so many glued metal to my teeth. Um, so, but yeah. It's a review of what we've done so far. Okay, so previous few videos we've been doing this upper yard area. Um, so you know what that looks like. And uh, I think it was last video I did this bit of scenery here. Um, and you saw at the beginning of this video there was a quick time lapse of what I was doing to paint this and stuff like that. But um, so I was doing that piece of track coming down there and it stopped about there, 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 there. So basically uh, I've done quite a lot since then. Uh, basically I've put scatter down on this grass here. Um, I've put a little bit more chicken wire up there. Um, so basically that's going to look like a valley up there. Uh, which would be nice. Um, Got a foot crossing here, it's made out of matchsticks, and a path going down there. Genuine Welsh slate. Um, so we've got the culvert there, which you saw in the previous video. It's a nice stream coming down there, it's got varnish in it now, so it shines. Got a little lake down there, it's a little bit cracked because the baseboard's too flexible, I'll have to sort that out at some point. Uh, but you'll notice there's a lot more scenery, and that's because I've actually extended the track as well. So basically it originally stopped there in the last videos as I pointed out earlier. But basically in exactly the same way as I did before, I put this bit of track in going down to this tunnel here. Which is marvellous. Um, you can see some of the scenery still work in progress here, but you can see the general idea of the area. So we've got a nice embankment going down there, a uh, bridge there for the stream to go back through. I haven't quite finished that yet. But you can see the general gist of this valley here. Um, and that's going to look similar going up there. Um, but yes, so, uh, you can see it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it goes down there, into the tunnel over there, goes around underneath the hill, comes around there, and then down to this bottom platform, this bottom passing loop here, which will have some platforms and become a station. Um, it's now parking space for my bin. And uh, got a couple of trees, you know, just a couple of hornby trees just to fill in a bit of space. Um, so that station is decorating. Need a bit more painting there to get rid of the polyfiller. Needs a bit of touching up around this area, but it's looking good so far. Can't decide what to do here yet because I don't know at all. Um, but yeah, so this is still a work in progress area. This um, you can see the various layers of what happens. So you've got chicken wire, newspaper, paint, then scatter. Um, scatter's glued on with PVA glue. Um, cutting is literally just painted uh, the newspaper, just painted with a couple of layers of grey paint. Um, tunnel down there, I made it dark by putting some uh, pieces of cardboard along the back, I'll probably end up making that a slightly more rocky thing for future uh, detailing um, but yeah so uh, got the bottom passing loops and the track plan is actually finished now I haven't got many sidings but you know the area is looking quite good so yeah ok so the rest of this video basically is just a few clips of the engine that I recently bought um, it's Originally, the chassis is off this engine here, Smokey Joe. It's a Hornby model that I got from about six years ago. Um, and I bought a kit off the internet. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous kit. Um, very detailed um, and relatively good price as well. So um, it's excellent. That. So here's a few clips of that running around the layout. And it'll probably give you an idea of what the kind of layout is going to look like when it's properly filmed. So there you go. Courtesy to Epic Penguin for filming this.